so uh, today we are going to talk a little bit about the cyanide poisoning and uh, this is uh, uh, an important topic um, for a multitude of examinations uh, and for your uh, general medical practice because you know it can be life-saving if you understand how you're going to treat a person with cyanide poisoning so uh, and I'm uh, so sorry for the bad video quality here uh, but the uh, thing is that the first thing is that for example we should understand what is cyanide and uh, how does it actually causes uh, poisoning uh, the thing is that cyanide it generates cyanide ions and uh, cyanide ions they have the ability that they uh, inhibit the complex four of the electron transport chain now the complex four of the electron transport chain when it is inhibited there is decreased production of ATP and which can result in death but from a medical point of view uh, we should uh, understand that uh, uh, we should remember rather this drug which is the important one here which is the sodium nitroprusside which has the ability uh, to generate uh, cyanide ions so uh, we should remember this because this can be tested uh, from this point of view <clears throat> now now we know that cyanide ions what is the mechanism of action of injury which is caused by cyanide poisoning <sighs> now th normally what happens is that the hemoglobin that we have uh, is in the um, uh, you know reduced state or iron is in the ferrous form uh, but in methemoglobinemia is a condition uh, which is separate from this uh, cyanide poisoning is a condition in which the hemoglobin, uh, the iron in the hemoglobin is in the Fe3 plus, that is the ferric state uh, or simply oxidized. So we don't like this met hemoglobin too much because of the decreased ability of met hemoglobin to bind with oxygen. Uh, but in you know there is one very beautiful thing about met hemoglobin is that it has an increased ability to bind with uh, the cyanide ions so now we have cyanide ions inside our body what do we want to do we induce met hemoglobinemia because as I've told you that met hemoglobin has an increased ability to bind cyanide ions although we don't like it too much because it has a decreased ability to bind oxygen so as I've written here as we know that met hemoglobin has an increased affinity for cyanide ions so we induce met hemoglobinemia here so how do we induce it this is what I call step one that we give sodium nitrite uh, or amyl nitrite and what do they do they convert your hemoglobin uh, into met hemoglobin that is from a reduced state into an oxidized state so what happens is that met hemoglobin it combines with cyanide ions and finds, uh, it, it, it forms a compound which is cyanomet hemoglobin so now what happens is we move towards step two that is we don't want cyanomet hemoglobin as well in the body so we give another drug which is sodium thiosulfate which converts cyanomet hemoglobin into uh, met hemoglobin again so we lost the cyanide ions in this step which I called as the step 2 so we have you know we are again uh, left with uh, met hemoglobin but as we have discussed earlier we don't like met hemoglobin too much as well because it has a decreased ability to bind with oxygen so what do we do uh, the step three here will be that we give IV methylene blue uh, which converts the met hemoglobin back into uh, hemoglobin so in all this process we lose the cyanide ions uh, by giving uh, three drugs the first step is we give nitrites to induce met hemoglobinemia then we give sodium thiosulfate to generate met hemoglobin and the third step is then you know we convert that met hemoglobin back into hemoglobin so this is the whole mantra that you uh, must remember for cyanide poisoning and I cannot stress it um, high enough that you must remember the nitroprusides the ability of the nitroprusides to generate uh, cyanide ions